Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. I'm excited to share another painting lesson with hydrangeas today. Now with the hydrangea, we are going to work on a reusable teaching guide so that you can practice and learn my strokes, my actual size strokes right there at home with you. And then we're going to start out with our folk art multi-surface paint. So when we're using our paint, let me tell you the colors we're going to be using. This is cobalt U, wicker white, citrus green, and sap green. We're then going to use our one stroke paint brushes, which are a number 12 flat, a half inch scruffy and a two script liner. All right, so what we do first of all is we're gonna learn how to do each one of the strokes and put it on our project piece and we'll learn it as we're gonna do it. So first thing we're gonna do is put some leaves out, the main two big leaves. And so while we're doing this, I'm gonna be picking up, I've dampened my brush, laid it on the paper towel to get the excess, excess moisture out of it. And then I'm gonna be right here in my double loader. So I'm gonna split my brush in half with citrus green and sap green, and then go back and forth with a lot of pressure and quickly to make it work into the brush. And then when you pick up the next layer of paint, you're just gonna flatten it on the surface. All right, so this is our 12 flat. Now I'm gonna turn this a little bit. It'll be easy for you to depending if you're lefty or righty, and on how you turn this to slide and get the stroke. So I, I caution you at the beginning, it's best if you go super slow and get every little wiggle and then stand up. Because then when you go do it on your piece, then you can be quicker with it. Because it looks better when it's done quick, but I want you to get that feeling of how it feels to do that leaf. Now on this this one, I'm using the sap green on the outside edge. This was the citrus green. See the V up here at the top? The V helps you separate the petals. Go right here and do like um, a shell stroke and then stand up, stand up and slide to a tip. And then we're gonna use this chisel by lifting the citrus green in the front and go about halfway into the leaf with the sap green, all right? Then I also picked up some cobalt U into the sap green and got some blue tones um, into this leaf, which I like doing that. I think it looks good. So we're pushing down with pressure and lifting up. So without much pressure here, just a little pressure. And that's how we're doing all these little leaves we're gonna add in here. We also are going to take the script liner and come over here with a little bit of water and roll this into this cubby here where you were loading. All right, so I'd like to practice on here because it's really nice and smooth. So you're, I'm making circles and I'm gonna make these little curls and you can do it anywhere on here, actually. See? So I go one, two, three, and reverse and do a couple little ones. Or until you feel more comfortable, you can just do a wavy vine coming out. Okay? So let's take this off with a wet, a baby wipe, wet wipe, or um, a dry, I mean a wet paper towel. There we go. Because we don't want it to dry on there. And so we're all... We're going to move it over here, so we're going to keep it right there so that we can see, remind ourselves what we just learned. All right, so on here I have a couple of leaves. See, we're going to put a couple of large leaves. All right, so let's pick up fresh paint. All right, now I'm going to start with the V, 
and then we're going to do another one kind of up here. In the, in the hydrangea, they have big, large leaves. You see, I slide to the point. Now watch, I'm keeping the sap in the middle. Okay, so keep following that middle. All right, and then we stand up, stand up. And then we pull a stem part way in. Don't go all the way to the tip. Looks better if you don't. So I picked up more paint. Now on this side, I'm gonna hold the sap green to the outside. And stand up. All right, one, two, three. All right, and then we pull the stem into there. Okay, now I'm gonna add all the little um, leaves after, and some of the blue leaves after we figure out our hydrangea, and then that leaves a good opportunity to put them here and there where I think they need it instead of trying to guess where we're gonna need it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. These are synthetic nylon. This is a scruffy. You don't wanna wet this first, and you wanna make sure it's fluffed. And these are all natural hairs. And what I want you to see is when we pick up paint with this brush, we're gonna go on the edge of the puddle. And then I'm gonna turn it over and do the other edge. Now, when I say half and half, what I'm saying is this is an oval, not a round. So it's the length of it, like an egg that we do, kind of crack it in half there. All right, so now what I've done is I'm then coming in here and we're gonna do a couple of hydrangeas. Now look, I'm keeping it tight, tight to the surface. Get some more paint. Now I'm just showing you here and I'm gonna put this in here and then let's go here and look at this. So we've already done that. Now we're gonna take our 12 and we're gonna get the cobalt U and wicker white. And we're gonna go right on top of these. See how we layered the petals? And we're gonna stay up on the chisel because we're trying to do these little petals. And we go all the way around. But what I like to share with you on these is that you touch, pressure, lift. And so that helps you do the stroke. So if you're right here, we touch, pressure, and stand up. All right. So right here, we've done the back pedals. And then we're going to come right here. Two, three. And I like to tell you that this looks like a gingerbread man. With a head, two arms, and two legs. And when you think of it that way, it's easy for you to see your placement. So after I put all these in here, layering on top, you've got the wet surface right here that we're gonna be working on. And then we come back and put the little um, script liner, we put the little centers in there, okay? So you can scruffy to see if you're getting it. You're gonna come right here to make sure that you've got the right colors for your flowers. And there we go, all right? So I'm gonna pull this back over and I'm gonna use the cobalt U and pick up white. All right, so the first thing I do is I kinda of like to go around the edges and do some of these strokes. So see, I need to pick up the white so it shows all the way around. All right, that makes sure that you have a nice look Got to get some more white. All right, now we are going to finish this and make it look like a little gingerbread. See that? But we also like to come in with another layer. There we go. I need more of the cobalt. Okay, so we're going to repeat the same look on the other side here. All 
I'm going to show you on this one we can get a little bit darker so that the white stands out a little bit more. Short and firm. Okay, so now to finish up our piece, we're going to put the small little leaves in there. So we're going to get, remember, it's the citrus and sap. And then on the sap green, citrus green and sap green. And on the sap green, I picked up the cobalt U. All right. So what I like to do is I like one at a point and then one, two. All right. And then we just pull those stems in there. And then out here, one, two, three. And I'd like to go into the leaf. I should, that's not what I should have done. Let me show you again. If we put that there, it looks better with a thin stem inside of it. Okay. And there we go. So see what happens is that we're making it feel fuller at this point. And keep coming up there and picking up some of this color that was I blended in there. Pull the stem about halfway in. And then I can add a one or two here or there. Okay. Let's put a curly Q or two. We're going to get our paint colors, roll this brush. We're going to start in here. And to finish it off, we're taking little teeny dots right here. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint.